self-proclaimed surfer punks from San Diego, they made a mess of me. I dare you to move. That's right, we have Grammy-recognized Switchfoot today on The Revolution. Welcome to The Revolution, a show with killer music and razor sharp truth. I'm George. And I'm Kat. The band on today is very near and dear to our heart, Switchfoot. Their song, More Than Fine, is the quintessential love song and, personally, our song. <laughs> Their lyrics peg us every single time, and that's probably why the Grammys come a knock at year after year after year since the 90s. That's right, it's hard to turn the radio on without hearing one of their hit songs or turning the TV on and seeing a commercial or a TV series with their, their lyrics. Mm-hmm. Switch foot in just a second. <laughs> It literally was a five-year prayer answered when we got to sit down with Switchfoot. So where do they stand with their faith? What challenges push them with their lyrics? And what's with the story behind Mess of Me? Here is Switchfoot. Never before have we had so many options. You have everything pretty instant, you know? You can communicate with people around the world instantly. You can. Uh, you've got the world at your fingertips, and yet there's a lack of community. Um, and so I feel like a lot of the, the, the folks that I know that are, you know, in the 15 to 25 year range, you know, they're, they're trying to figure out what, what they're here for, you know, what's the reason why they exist on the planet, you know, and that's a worthwhile question. And I feel like the temptation is to run from the big questions. The temptation is to, to say, oh, I, I'll never find the answer, so I'm going to look for something that's going to dumb down the question, you know. Um, and we've all found, you know, the quick fix in, in various forms, whether it's, you know, uh, even, even good things can be the quick fix, you know sports or a girlfriend or you know more dangerous things drugs and alcohol you know but um ultimately my advice my challenge is do not run away from the hard questions you know truly ask yourself what's worth living for in this life because i feel like so many times um people get hung up talking about christian music genre and i I don't really like talking about genres. I'd rather talk about either rock and roll or Christ, you know, but I don't even know what the genre is, you know. So for me, I think about Christ, I think about this iconoclastic man who lived and died for the broken. And, you know, the paramount underdog, which is basically turning the world on its head, you know. Blessed are the poor, you know, and blessed are the, the hungry, blessed are the broken, all these things that, that feel very backwards in our, in our uh, fame, power, beauty, um, riches, hungry world, you know, so that's, that's who Christ is to me. <laughs> oh, every show, at least there's one moment that everything falls yeah. to pieces and... I mean, there's a few to choose from. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I think that's the beauty of live music is is creating from the destruction. You know, like you break a string. Um, I mean, so many things could go wrong. And that's the beauty is like, where does it go? What happens when, when things are destroyed? You know, and you can draw interesting parallels to life from there. You know, what happens when all the chips are down? I don't know. Are there any uh, good... Disastrous moments that come to mind. I mean, there's the Madison Square Gardens one, 
where the sign was held up. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is a good one. You're playing, I think it was in Boston, or was, was it? it? Boston, yeah. Some huge arena radio show up in the Northeast. And huge video screens, thousands and thousands of people. And this little girl in the front row holds up this sign. And I reach, reach down to see what it says. And it says, John, your fly is down. So, yeah. It was a was good it? moment. Yeah, absolutely. You just kind of zip it up. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to check us out online, therevolutiontv.com. There you can find our 24-7 video channel to fill with your favorite bands and reach out to us if you need anything. Remember, you're not alone. Earlier, John Foreman with Switchfoot was talking about who Jesus Christ was to him. He was using words like paramount underdog and an icon who lived for the broken, challenging him to live life in the opposite direction, away from life's entrapments of fame and power, sex and beauty. Is that possible as a rock star? It is ironic sometimes that we're put in this position because, you know, we're just punks from San Diego that, you know, are trying to do it right. We love music. We're trying to do that right. And, and um, it's sometimes really humbling to think that we would have any of the answers to these bigger questions, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I do feel like there's so many areas of yeah. my life that I'm still trying to figure out, you know. It's a daily confessional situation. <laughs> I mean, that's something that I feel like the church has done really badly is actually confessing. Um, we are sinners. We are broken, shattered people that do things selfishly, out of arrogance, pride, lust, greed, you know, and, um, and all have fallen short, you know. That, that doesn't mean some or, or, you know, I mean, we're definitely a part of that inclusive all. Mess of Me is, is very confessional, isn't it? Um, and for me, that song, uh, you know, we can all relate to screwing things up, you know? Um, or is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that, and then, but I think the thing that, that um, I don't often hear on the radio is the other half of that. Um, I want to spend the rest of my life alive. I want to figure this out. I want to get it right. You know, and that for me is kind of, the other half of the coin. Yes, I screwed up, but um, we're going to figure this out. We're going to move through it, you know? Hi, we're Reliant K. Yeah. I'm Stu. Yeah, you, you're so good at this, All usually. Right. I forgot. You got to focus, man. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? We're Switchfoot, and you are watching The Revolution. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, KZ5 to the 2. Now, you probably figured out already that, yes, I am in my car right now driving. Uh, but I'm doing this for a reason, because about a couple months ago, as I was heading down the road, I started to hear this, basically this fire engine noise going off behind me. So I freaked out, I pulled off to the side of the road, I kept looking behind me, but couldn't see anything. A few minutes later, same exact thing happened, same scenario, and I'm trying to sit there in my mind going, what is going on? Well, it turns out what had happened was my three-year-old had basically left one of his toys in the back seat, but it was so far off behind there, it made it sound like a fire engine was going on behind me. God is trying to get a hold of us. You see, just like a fire engine warns us to get out of the way because he's trying to get somewhere, God's Holy Spirit is trying to warn us of the things that try to pull us down. There's a lot of junk that wants to leave you distracted. You want to take your eyes off of Christ and put your eyes on the wrong things. The Holy Spirit speaks in a still small voice. It's time we start listening. Something to think about. Something that is on my mind right now, especially because uh, we're putting on a, an event for, for this in a week, is uh, Stand Up For Kids. It's an organization that helps out homeless teens and at-risk youth in San Diego. It's actually an international organization that started out in San Diego. And we throw a, an event called the Switchfoot Bro-Am, which is a surf contest and concert right on the beach. 
and we teach kids how to surf, teach them how to play guitar and raise money and awareness for what's going on in our own backyards. And I feel like this is something that, I mean, I had no idea when I was in high school that there were kids that went to my high school in, in my classes that were couch surfing, you know, mom's in prison, dad has never been on the scene, just trying to survive, you know. And, um, and to basically champion these heroes, these people that are, that are in our midst, that are fighting to survive, looking for a better future from a really broken past, you know. So that's kind of, it's on the top of my head right now. I think everything that we've done along the way has just um, been uh, trying to be faithful with what we've been given. You know, we've been given these songs and, and so you try and record them in a way that does them justice. You try and play them live in a way that you feel is appropriate in communicating what the song's saying. And um, I think the goal for us has always been very simple, you know. Um, life is short, live it well, you know. These songs that we've been given, let's, let's, let's sing them out. Recently, George and I were watching an awards show and we were completely locked in on that screen. It drew us in and not in a good way. Um, there was so much darkness and perversion there and it was almost hard to break our stare. It was like outrageous the way people were dressed and how they acted and the lyrics in their songs. And I'm thinking, man, this is the mainstream. This is what youth today are listening to and filling their minds and their lives with. It's crazy, crazy stuff. What was so refreshing though is Switchfoot, who is a Grammy recognized group, has come out on the top and they're saying we're not ashamed to live life in the opposite direction. Because all that stuff that the world offers, the entrapments, it's nothing but bait. They play it as it's liberation. Try it. It's normal. Actually, it's bondage. That's right. You know, you see these artists on TV and they look like they're happy. They look like, you know, they have it all together. But when the lights go down and the doors shut, I mean, they're just hollow inside. It's a very shallow lifestyle, just living for today, you know, living for the next high. And we've been there. I mean, I'm, I grew up in South Florida. You know, I grew up where, you know, going to clubs and seeking that next high, that next party, and it just didn't satisfy. I used to call it synthetic joy because it just, it appeared like joy, but it just vanished. And uh, true joy is only found in having a real relationship with God. It's not religion. It's not, hey, you got to go to church. You got to do this. You got to do that. No, that's man's way of reaching to God. What we're saying is accept God's hand that's reaching down for you. And it starts with having a real relationship with Jesus. And so we challenge you to find out what a real relationship with Jesus is all about. You know, if you want, go on therevolutiontv.com, reach out to us. We'll reach right back. You know, remember, you're not alone. Thank you so much for watching The Revolution. We will see you guys next time. And if God be for you, who can stand against you?